Hello everyone, Mike Money Game here, and welcome back to Let's Play Onamashi Warlords. Um, last time we played this game, we defeated a really hard as hell boss, and then blew it up and a building with it, uh, thanks to Kaede. But then she got injured, so now um, we left her in that one area where we left her before, and just kind of started moving around this area on our own. At this point in time, um, there's not a whole lot of stuff that we need to do, per se, except for, like, head to the end of the game, like, you know, that demon gate, and that's where, like, pretty much the final stretch of the game goes, if I remember right, if I remember correctly, I should say. Um, <clears throat> so, I'm actually debating about, like, leaving the, um demon area as like an extra thing, like, you know, like something we come back to in the game, because I don't really feel like I'm prepared mentally to be able to do that, especially right now, because today I'm actually not 100% here right now, to be honest, which is going to make for very fun uh, gameplay, I, I kid you not, it's probably going to make for some really hilarious gameplay. But don't think that there's no save points inside the area, there actually is, so... Um, you don't have to worry about that. But I do believe that there are a whole crap load of enemies that you're going to be finding in this area. So you got to make sure you remember how to play this as well. So, yeah. Which means I need to remember that it's the, um... <clears throat> what do they call these again? Control pad that you move with? Yeah, that's right. I believe. <clears throat> Anyway, um, so looks like we have half health, which is not really good, but better than nothing. Mm, yeah, that's a great start. <laughs> I might just head straight to the, um... Stupidity. I was say, thank God this guy can't grab me. Hmm, I don't think I can do the instant death on him because you notice that I actually shot past him whenever I hit the square button as he was about to do his build up. Yeah, it didn't actually let me uh, follow through and finish him off, so, hmm. It's kind of interesting, to say the least. Anyway, the evil door is right here, yep. I don't know if you can actually block that move, to be honest. didn't give me health. You want as much health as you can when you get into this area. <laughs> anyway, there will be a cutscene that plays here. Oh no, it's not. I mean, it's once you grab the, um... <clears throat> Good, because I want to read this. You will need an arrow that can match this bow to use it, and you will need a bow that can match this arrow to use it. I could have sworn, like, I think if you actually just try to, like, you know, use it, like, at any other time, I think he actually, I think you will actually get some thing that says basically along the lines you can't use this here, which is kind of funny. Oh, I do have a magic jewel. I was just thinking about that. I was like, I wonder if I have all the magic jewels. And apparently I do. Because I'm pretty sure that's all of them. See the glowing fluorite? Really? That's why they started glowing. Of course, I'm pretty sure we still have missed some. I don't remember if they're all inside the castle or if they're inside this area too. I'm sure I can always go back and 
because I'm sure there's some areas that you can get back to and still find the fluorites. And even not, I can still look them up and uh, show you where all of them are if I decide to do that. Some of them can be kind of annoying to get, I'm sure. Like you only have one chance to get them type thing. So anyway, let's uh, do this cool little cutscene here. You just use the great bow here. And yes, they had to use a badass as hell animation for that. <laughs> Now, I don't know if you can go back. Let's, uh, let's actually see once you go through. You pathetic human worm. Impressive you've come this far, but ultimately futile since your journey ends here. Only demons can enter. You. Why don't you go back to playing with your worthless little toys? I have no time for you. What did you say? How dare you? A mere human mock me? Spider, it's time for you to fight my greatest creation! Come on, Sherman! Marcellus. Hold on a minute. So this fight is actually pretty similar to the fight against the guy with the shield on the roof. You actually just have to um, catch him off guard. But I don't actually think we're going to live this because I just realized we have no healing items. <laughs> so yeah, I didn't really come into this fight very prepared. Uh, the only thing I can think of to help you with this is that um, you should probably use your sword that you're most comfortable with. And you want to um, concentrate on using probably some of your magic attacks to start out the fight. <laughs> I don't know how many of these guys' um, abilities are um, blockable too. Yeah. <sighs> Might not give you a little bit of advice. Um, what I did at this point in the game, I actually, um, like, I think I was in the same boat that I'm in now, where I didn't have any healing items at this point. I recommend to you, if you don't, to, um, Kill enemies that you know drop health, which is, for one, that guy over there. But first we need to get the bow. Knowing that I'm not actually trying to shoot that guy. But it thinks I want to. Okay, now we should be able to shoot this guy. 
Man, I've never had so little arrows. There's a little bit of health. Hmm. I mean, we already have more health than we had before, but I still don't think we can survive off of that much. <laughs> yeah, see, you still can't grab it from that thing. Sixty, wow. Hmm. That seems to be, uh, give health too if you knock him down first. Maybe you can keep running around the spot until... Damn it. Not you, bastard. Luckily, one shot from our sword now takes him out. So, there you go. Wait, I think I just saw one of those giant guys over here, did I? Nope. Oh, okay, good. I like how they use the sound effect from, um, like, whenever you absorb the souls for them, you know? I just think that's actually a nice touch. Oh, I wasn't close enough to it. We almost have enough. I did it way too early. What I was trying to do was like, you know, dodge out of the way and then push the button at the right time, but I didn't do it. I'm actually tempted to pull out the regular sword just to see how long it takes to kill them. I know I really shouldn't be experimenting whenever I'm, uh, <laughs> you know, trying to build up health. a big ugly guy up here? I thought I heard like the growl of them, you know. Guess not. Though those guys do drop a lot of HP. I don't know why I say HP, but they do drop health. There we go. Not that that actually dropped anything. But since it is guaranteed to drop um, health orbs if you uh, pull off that move, even if it's just a small one, I think it's actually harder to do it with this sword, <coughs> come to think of it. <laughs> yeah, my Arashi is the only one I don't have upgraded, that's kind of ironic. <laughs> I just walked right into that. I 
think there is actually a way to um, do an instant kill on the um, orbs too, but hell if I remember what it actually is. Does tell you though that it seems like the weapon that's the uh, one for it is um, the other one. Damn, I haven't actually managed to make much uh, in the way of progress here, have I? Damn it. Just like that. There you go. So it takes three hits with this sword to take these guys out now. Ah, you spinning. Yeah, like I said, that's the only downside of trying to do the um, quick kill on them, is if they come out spinning, that will screw you over. Because <laughs> then you're right next to them. I thought it was kind of cool. That wasn't the right way to do that. <laughs> ah, not another one. Yeah, this is regular soul. to at least level up our weapon. See, I think if you're actually trying to get... Damn you! Get off! Half health isn't really the greatest, but... Damn it. I regret taking that damage. Wow, it's going to take all of these. I was about to say, I could just make the rest of my arrows into fire arrows with the rest of this. <laughs> Apparently not, though. There we go. We have enhanced all our weapons to the max um, level. <laughs> as great as that is, it doesn't help us too much. I'll probably regret that later. But probably because, well, for one, the uh, bow isn't going to be useful against this enemy at all. Oh, nice. 
Yeah, the overhead slash is the one that you can... I didn't save. I did not save. Huh. Well, anyway, I need to do some off-screen stuff anyway because I really need to get prepared for this fight. So, yeah, I'll be right back. Till then, everyone. Bye.